So guys, today it is your lucky day because this is going to be a pretty short video because we're going to be doing a review on the Silky Big Boy Saw. So before we get started with this pretty short review, I want to just say please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you have not already and want to see more awesome Alaskan content. Without any further ado, let's get into this. I still want to talk about the saw and why I really like it. Now for a long time, actually about two and a half years, some of you guys, especially hardcore viewers, would know that I was actually running a folding buck saw. And for the most part, I like that saw. And if you have the time to set it up and get it properly ready, it's actually a superior saw to this saw. The issue with that saw though, the folding buck saw, was the fact that it had three pieces that were all separate and you had to combine them together and it was always a juggle to hold these three pieces together while you assembled it. It was not a very fun saw to bring out and use it. It was even less fun to put away because there were three pieces and you had to juggle it all and it just was really a, it's, it's not a bad saw especially if you're going into camp and you're staying at a place for like a week. It's a great saw but for a lot of my operations being that they're half a day to day outings you know where I'm not staying out there for a week week um, it kind of sucked so I kind of got out of liking using it however it still was a great saw and still is today so that is where this uh, silky uh, big boy came in and this saw of course being a folding saw is super simple to put together legitimately it's all one piece and, and that is all you do and it's ready to go you just literally put it into position and it's ready to go and that has really made a big difference for me wanting to carry a saw and wanting to use a saw. Now that is not necessarily something unique to the Silky Big Boy itself and that's kind of why I don't want to dwell on that fact because even the Baco Laplander is as simple as that. However, I did want to kind of note because I really have not used folding saws much, I have really enjoyed using this Big Boy. Now I will say, now on to the Big Boy itself, I will say when I first got this thing I was a little bit like I kind of laughed at it because its size is a folding saw you guys can see here this thing like even comparatively speaking to my body and I don't have a huge body but even speaking to my body this thing is a pretty gigantic saw almost kind of laughable when, when I first got it I just had a chuckle because I was like wow this thing is huge. well first I laughed at its rather comical size I do actually appreciate its larger size because of course with the law of saws the larger the saw blade, the greater the work and the greater the speed at which that work can be done. So with saws, I, you know, at first it was rather comical a size, but it is actually very appreciated. And you guys hopefully could see there, those pieces of what I was sawing up were about three and a half to four inch rounds. So you could see, and that was not sped up at all. Uh, that was just chunking it pretty fast. And that's due to such a huge blade. But I will say, the huge blade is, because this is a folding saw, of course, really compact because that saw folds right up into its handle, making this a very, for its size range, a very compact saw and easy to carry. And in fact, this saw has pretty well dethroned my axe for what I continually bring out in the woods because of its capabilities and because of its size and weight. It's a very for its size being considered, it's a very lightweight saw. So as far as the teeth go, I found it to cut very well, very fast, just like most proper saws. Of course, Silky is a very good company for saw making. I have never heard of anyone really having an issue with their saws or their blades in particular. I as well have not found this saw to bind really much. I mean, of course, you can always get a saw to bind if you pinch it between two pieces of wood. But most of the time, if you're doing your respective job as a sawyer, this blade does not like to bind and it loves to bite and it bites very well as like I said you guys can see it ate through the wood pretty fast. Now I will say something I do like about Silkies, this one included in particular, as you guys can hopefully see up here, maybe I can kind of like show you better with some better contrast. There are two notches up here on the tang. So the first notch is, it just makes it look just normal, but I've actually found and come to like this secondary notch 
finish. And what this does is it sets the handle higher than the blade. So if you're cutting lower than your body or the center of your body, so if say there's something close to the ground and you're trying to cut it, this secondary notch elevates your hand away from the ground so that your hand's not banging into the ground, but it's still at the same time it allows you to saw at a lower altitude or a lower height and so that's something that I really liked about that doubled notch because at first I kind of thought it was a little bit gimmicky it was like eh, you know it's probably cool but probably not that applicable but actually I found myself quite a few times opting for this secondary notch here and I've really appreciated how uh, it works for me in particular situations so guys, I do want to note quickly before ending this to thank a channel, the fellow YouTuber who actually sent me this for free to review and just overall have, and that is Sweet Costa Rica. If you guys don't know who he is already, he also sent me the two more Eldresses to review and to have uh, for free. He is an Anchorage-based bushcrafter on YouTube as well. A link will be in the description below where you can check his channel out too. I would highly recommend you guys go check him out. He does not post stuff super frequently like me but he still occasionally posts content and I would definitely recommend you guys go check him out because he's definitely a solid uh, bushcrafter and youtuber and once again was kind enough to send me this stuff for free I didn't even ask I only asked for one more address but that's because he didn't like them <laughs> but anyways he was super generous to send this saw and another more address to the channel so that I can bring you guys reviews and get more experience myself with different tool systems like folding saws so definitely go check his channel out and thank you again to Sweet Costa Rica for being kind enough to send these tools in. I do apologize. It's taken like eight months to finally get to this review, but that's because I've been working hard on other, having a whole bunch of other things to review and a whole bunch of other content to make. And I wanted to actually get out and properly utilize this tool, not just around my house cutting up things, but also out in the field. And I have definitely been really enjoying it, especially out in the field, because like I said, it's so lightweight and portable and its size is very, very good, and it slips in just about any backpack system. So anyways, guys, that's basically all I have to say about this saw. If you guys are wondering to get it, I would say go for it, because at first it may look a little bit ridiculous because of its size, but its size, this ridiculous size, does actually help it out to be a very effective saw at cutting up things. But at the same time, it's not insane. Like the Katana Boy is just like a little bit ridiculous ridiculously large but this really strikes at medium grounds where it's not quite ridiculous but at the same time it's still very useful anyways guys that's my review on the silky big boy and that's all for now i'm out